this product will have your lace melted to the gods. Like, no need to pay someone two to three dollars to melt the lace when you can do it yourself, okay? And these products in this video is gonna make sure that you can do that yourself. Hello my beautiful people, welcome to Lip Balm Kiss TV. So today's video is brought to you by Beauty Forever Hair. I partnered with them to bring you guys a very informative type video to teach you guys everything you need in your wig kit, okay? These are your must have essentials to make sure you are able to melt your lace at home like a pro. No shade to the hairstylist, but nowadays we're not paying two, 250 for y'all to install our hair and then you want us to book online. We can't bring extra people. Our hair has to come washed and blow dried. We gotta pay extra for styling, all that stuff is is just unnecessary okay I'm gonna teach you everything you need to have in your kit now these are the basic essentials you can have more than this and if you can figure out a finesse way you might be able to knock a few of these items out but this list right here is everything you need to make sure you're melting it okay a lot of this stuff can be found at your local beauty supply store or on Amazon so what I'm gonna do is make sure I go find everything for you guys and leave it in the description box below so you can click the link and find all the stuff I'm discussing in, the, in today's video and there's one specific item in this video that is a hundred percent game changer and if you don't have it I don't care who you are once you buy it, your installs will be ten times better so make sure you watch until the end to figure out that one secret ingredient to melt your lace like a pro thank you again beauty forever hair they sent over this big kinky natural texture unit i wore it down earlier today on the way to my appointment it was so cute down i wore it in a side part i wore it wild and everyone loved it my makeup artist loved it people were staring at me in traffic i was looking so luscious but yeah i partnered with them to give y'all the must have for your wig kit and yeah, I'm super excited about this video. It's my second time filming it because the first time I messed up, but it's okay. We're here, we're back, and we're better, okay? So if you guys want to know everything you need to melt your lace like a pro, then this is the video for you. Just keep watching. Let's get into it. Before we get into it, make sure you guys subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and leave a comment down below on some things that you have to use to melt your wig, okay? Now let's get into it. The first thing you'll want is a wig cap okay not just any wig cap you want to make sure it is a hd or deluxe wig cap the reason i say this is because these as you guys can see are super super thin you see that super super thin this is like step one to having your lace melted right into your skin they used to sell the regular wig caps right but they were super thick and you had to do a lot of manipulation to get your bald cap actually bald now this serves more than one purpose now this is for the bald cap method but if you like just to protect your edges and have something over your hair to hold your hair back you can do that now typically i don't do bald cap methods as as often anymore i did it for the sake of this video to show you guys how easy it is and everything you need to do it but if you're doing glueless you can put this on and follow all the same steps and still have a melted wig you don't have to do a bald cap method but either way you want to make sure you have a flesh tone sometimes they give you the super dark ones or the super light ones make sure you have something that's either this color or close to your skin color, okay? Most of them come this color, though, but you wanna make sure it's HD or deluxe, okay? Now, once you put your wig cap on, you've put your glue on, you've got it stuck to your head, you will need to bust out the blow dryer. As you guys can see, my blow dryer is raggedy. I've had it for years, right? The back of it's missing, part of it is melted. Like, my blow dryer is toe up from flow up, okay? So I went out and bought a new one. Here's the new blow dryer right here. So here is the new blow dryer. I ordered this from MelodySusie.com. They also have these blow dryers available on Amazon. So the blow dryer came with this cute little brush and these two attachments. One of them was like a diffuser for like the curly hair girls and then the obviously the regular attachment you have. So compared to the traditional hair dryer, the Melody Susie Ionic blow dryer has 120,000 RPM which ultimately just reduces your dry time by about 60%. So you're not having to use it as long to get the hair actually dry. Um, the dryer also releases 200 million negative ions, y'all. So during the drying process, this will decrease your frizz by 25%. 
and also help lock in your moisture. So for someone like me who has 4C hair, sometimes it's very hard to get the moisture locked in. The 200 million negative ions will help with that as well. So you'll have much less split ends and static and like electricity flyaways <laughs> with your hair using this blow dryer. So the website is currently running a 50% off sale. I'm not sure exactly how long that sale will last, so make sure you guys check out the description box at your earliest convenience if you are interested in this blow dryer. They have the code, so it's not like you have to have my code or anything. The code is actually already on the website, so as soon as you check out, you'll see that option right there, the 50% off. Um, and they also offer shop pay. So if you guys are not familiar with shop pay, if you qualify, you can have four installment free payments. So let's say that you click on there and the code is gone. Do not worry. You can still use shop pay. So I use this for my deep conditioning mask. I'm going to start trying to do these in between my wigs or in between my braid downs, maybe once a month. And this footage is actually from today, April 9th. And the blow dryer is so quiet. Um, I love the control. And yeah, I absolutely love it. And it's so cute, y'all. It's like aesthetically pleasing. But thank you again, Melody Susie, and let's get back to the video. Now, the next thing you'll need, you want foundation, something to apply it. In this case, I did a beauty blender, and then you also wanna have a cream foundation or contour, and I can explain why. So this liquid foundation, this is NARS, this is the exact foundation I use on my actual skin. All three of these things, or at least two of them, can be applied to your HD wig cap. So after you've already put your wig cap on, sprayed it, if you're doing the bald cap method, after you spray it, before or after you cut the cap, you wanna put some foundation on there, which will be one of these, okay? You wanna either do the cream contour, and this is by Ruby Kisses, or just any type of foundation. This is NARS. A good dupe for NARS is Maybelline. Some people don't like Maybelline, but I'm. it's literally almost the same thing. This formula is a little better, but like I said, this is for your wig, not your skin. So if you want to just go get some Maybelline, you can. But this is going to make sure that your cap is matching your skin through the wig. Because if not, you'll either see natural hairline, braids, or whatever it is you got going on under that cap, that's what you'll see. So you want to make sure you cover your wig cap with this or and or this you can do both if you want and then you want to make sure you go on the inside of the wig the actual lace part of the wig with this okay that's where this comes into play you'll put this on here blend it out with either a beauty blender a brush whatever is easier for you these things that i'm telling you they're very versatile like the application process these are just the list of things you need how you use them is up to you but this is the things that you absolutely need to make sure you're melting so you gotta have some foundation you want to have a liquid a powder which is just an eyeshadow palette and a cream contour or foundation to make sure that your wig cap and the inside of your lace matches as close to your skin tone as you can get it that's how this color is the same as my forehead because it's makeup, okay? Now, the next thing you will need is some got to be hairspray, okay? Now, people have their mixed emotions about this, but this is what you're gonna need to either keep everything intact, and this is gonna assist in actual melting. This is like a freeze, blasting free space. So if you're doing a glueless wig, this is perfect for you. If you want to do some touch-ups, this is perfect for you. If you want to mold your edges and you've already used gel, this is perfect for you. After you put your makeup on the inside of your wig, this is perfect for you. You want to spray this down to keep everything intact and held together. Like I said, now we are using wig glue, but this is something I also use because I don't always glue my wigs down simply because as a wig influencer, you don't have these wigs on for more than maybe two days max. And that's like two or three days pushing it. You know what I'm saying? Most of the time you can switch your hair out every two or three days. So I don't necessarily use glue all the time. I did use glue for my wig cap. I did a bald cap method on this one, so I use glue. But when it comes to actually spraying my lace down, I'm a got to be girl, okay? Speaking of wig glue, you will need a wig glue, okay? Now, if you are someone like me who switches your hair a lot, then I would use Ghost Bond. I like a little controversy about Ghost Bond, whether it works or not, but like I said, if you are looking for something, you just want your hair to stay on for, you know, a week, Ghost Bond's good. Now, if you're one of those people who don't know how to do your hair and you don't like switching it often and when you put something in, you want it to last for two, three weeks, like... If you get your hair done at the salon, you want your money's worth, you need Touched by Misty Glue. 
I ran out and I didn't purchase any more simply because the, the glue works too well. I can't afford to use her glue. Touched by Misty, if you're watching this, I love you, girl. Your glue is the bomb, which is why I'm telling these people to go get it. But if I'm being honest, as someone who changes their hair often, I can't afford to put Touched by Misty in my hair because that wig will be stuck in my head for three weeks. And I can't do it. Another must-have on your wig essential kit is some rubbing alcohol, okay? This is going to be your bestie, okay? For one sanitizer okay your hands gonna be dirty with all that makeup and stuff it's quick little cleanser real quick but the main focus for the alcohol the urban alcohol is to spray it on either a cotton a cotton pad a paper towel some tissue whatever you're comfortable with and then clean your hairline before you start anything you want to clean your hairline okay and let me tell you why those moisturizers those oils those serums those toners all that stuff that you have on your skin and on your hairline, if you leave that on prior to trying to install your wig, what happens is the chemicals, the oil and the water in all those skin products, skin and hair products, because sometimes we, we grease our scalp, oil our scalp. What happens is the chemicals in that breaks down your adhesive that's in between your lace and your skin. So whether you're using got to be, gel, whatever you're using, the chemicals in that, depending on how the ratios are, it's enough in those products to break down your glue, even Ghost Bond. It'll break it down and make it to where you'll start seeing your, your lace ball up and turn brown, okay? Especially if you have makeup in there, it'll turn brown. If you don't have makeup, you'll see it ball up and turn like a white grayish color and it'll look like a bunch of goop going on on your hairline. You wanna make sure you completely clean your hairline off before you glue anything down. Not only to keep it nice and clean, but also for your melt to last. You don't wanna go through getting all this stuff and taking all these steps and melting your lace for it to only last for a little bit. When you leave that product on your on your face, like me, my moisturizer right now is Pond's, right? Pond's is super light, but it does have a very moisturizing effect like i put that on and you can tell my face is glistening it looks healthy it's juicy and when i forget to wipe my hairline clean and i go to melt my lace that pond will break down my got to be spray and then you'll you'll be able to tell exactly where the pond was and it'll break it down and my lace will start lifting so make sure you have use some rubbing alcohol. Now this little container I got from Dollar Tree is in their travel size um, aisle. So all the travel kit stuff, it comes with this one for lotion, one for body wash. They're all just clear and plain, a dollar for like a pack of four. And I just pour the alcohol in here. It's easier that way. I like miniature things, it's cute. So yeah, make sure you got your rubbing alcohol on deck. Another essential product to your melt is going to be an edge band, okay? Now what this is, is it's just a band that you use to essentially melt the lace into your skin. So after you've done your bald cap method, you put your wig on, you cut your ear tabs, you've sprayed whatever adhesive and or glue that you're gonna use, press your lace into your skin, you blow dry it. You wanna put this on and it comes with a little Velcro and you just Velcro it in the back of your head and you leave that on, you can blow dry it or you can maybe walk around, do some chores around your house. Now, if you're on TikTok, you know E-Kane, which is another wig influencer, she says ban for an hour. I don't have an hour. I, my time is too valuable, I have sh to do, okay? So I don't leave mine on for an hour, I leave mine on for maybe 10 minutes tops. But they say the longer you leave the band on, the more melted it is. This is a melt from 10 minutes of the band, okay? So I can't imagine what an hour will do. The longer you have, the better, but you only actually need 10 or 15 minutes with the band. But like I said, the longer than just the more melt it is to get into your skin. These typically come with the wig nowadays. Not every single wig, but most wigs that you order should get a band with the company name on there. Like this one is from Beauty Forever shout out to them so it has a little logo on there and it has their name or whatever but you can get these like i said on amazon make sure you check the description box for anything that you don't have or need access to i'll leave the direct link for you but this one came with this wig so i didn't have to go buy it i have a bunch of these these are clutch okay another thing you'll need is some type of hair clip or claw clip now i know i know those little clips that you put right here are going viral right now, mainly in Atlanta. They're cute and all, but they don't get the job done. Those are to keep it out your face. But when it comes to melting a lace down, 
when it comes to melting a lace down, you want something that's going to completely get your hair all the way out of your face so that all you're dealing with is lace. You don't want hair drooping down and you having to flip it over and hold it with your hand. If you get you a little claw clip, this this was from either H&M or Forever 21, but you can, like I said, Beauty Supply, Walmart, Amazon, whatever. And you just literally grab the front of it, pin it back, and put this clip on and it'll keep the hair out of your face. That way you have no distractions up here and just you and the lace you in the lace okay. another thing you'll need is an edge brush either an edge brush or a toothbrush the only reason i suggest the edge brush over a toothbrush is because you can press the lace you see how this is flat on this end you can use this to press the lace into your skin as well when you're installing now this you can use for multiple different things you can part out your edges you can use it to mold your edges but this little tool here is just super clutch and essential when it comes to getting that lace melted and doing your edges even if you'd like the no edges look this is the fluffy edges so they're not really glued down to my forehead they're just kind of like messed up and just whatever blah they're not there's not really any formation to them but if you like the no baby hairs look you can use either side of this to make sure you're pushing the hairs back okay our light one of our lights just died but it's okay we prevail okay the next thing you will need is a hot comb okay so this hot comb i got from my local beauty supply you will use this to slick your hair back make sure it's flat after you apply your wax that we just talked about you'll go in and mold it with the hot comb this is also very very essential to making sure that your shit is flat okay hot comb it down put that wax on there and hot comb it down when you first even put the wig on now hot comb it back to get all the flyaways going one way so you can work with just the lace okay hot comb almost one of the most important things you'll hear in this whole video if you are installing a wig and you don't have a hot comb you're doing it wrong okay make sure you get you a hot comb another essential now this is more so for the baby hair girls or if you have like a pixie wig that you're installing is the mini flat irons okay these are going to get down in there because they're super super small so they're able to grip the baby hair and curl it perfectly or like i said if you have a pixie cut it's absolutely perfect now you can use a regular flat iron but i've burnt myself numerous times because they're just too big and try trying to flat iron a small piece of hair with a big flat iron is just a recipe for disaster so save yourself the scars and the burns and the trouble and just get you a mini flat iron okay for those smaller shorter pieces of hair now last but definitely not least, my number one item that you need to make sure your lace is melted. This is the most important thing of the entire, entire video. You absolutely need this liquid mousse spritz firm spray. This little shit right here, this will have your shit melted, okay? This is the best spray I've used. I've used tinting sprays, I've used tinting mousses, when it comes to taking that ashy white cast off your lace, this little spray, y'all, I'm sad because it's almost gone. I'm going to have to re-up and buy some more. But this will take that white cast completely out instantly. Like, before you put the melt bin on, any of that. Once you've installed your wig, it don't matter if you think you the shit or not. Like, once you spray this on here, it instantly makes the lace disappear. Like, instantly like it the white goes away it don't matter you can have the worst lace in the world once you lay it once you're all done before you style your baby hair though so once you're done actually melting the lace itself the fabric into your skin once you're blow dried and everything apply this either to your finger and dab it in or apply it to your rat tail comb and just put it on the edges and i promise you the lace is going to disappear literally disappear like this is i ain't never seen nothing like this in my entire life like ever so those are our must-have essentials to everything you need to melt your lace like a pro. That's everything you need to melt your lace like a pro, okay? From the wig cap, whether you're doing glueless, no matter what you're doing, I got you, okay? So hopefully you guys found value in this video. If you'd like a step-by-step -step tutorial on like maybe the bleaching, the plucking, the customization and all that, I'll be more than happy to do that for you. Now, I'm not going to lie, a lot of the wigs these days are coming already customized, they figured out we don't want to do all that. But sometimes you still have to do a little bit of some, something to it. I bleached these knots. I did not pluck or anything. It came like this, but I did bleach the knots. Like I said, if you guys want a customization tutorial on how I prep the wig, wash, condition, uh, pluck, bleach, style, everything, let me know because I will do that for you guys. But 
that's it. Now you're gonna have to practice. Don't come telling me, Morgan, you said, no, you're gonna have to practice still, but at least these items, these items are step one to making sure that you can melt your lace like a pro. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe if you're interested in getting into wigs but you don't really know where to start. Make sure you check out the wig installs playlist. I have a bunch of cool videos. Some of them have chit chat topics. There's a bunch of different videos and styles of me installing wigs, doing rig reviews and things of that nature. So make sure you guys check that out. I do want to give a special shout out. Thank you again to Beauty Forever Hair for sponsoring today's video. I think this wig turned out so, so freaking cute. I love my little ponytail and I'm also glad I'm able to install it for you guys and show you guys, you know, some informative type things. I know I install wigs a lot, but I know some people want to know what do they need. You guys were begging like for this product when y'all saw me use this, everyone was commenting like, oh my God, what was that spray in the brown bottle? I got you girl. I got you. I got your back like chiropractic. <laughs> but no, thank you again for tuning in and I'll see you in the next video.